What's going on guys, gals, gamers alike, Crimson here, and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Colosseum, where we are going to be dueling the lover of the seven seas, Mako Tsunami. And there's that fucking thing again. There we go, fixed it. <laughs> oh my god, it, it, just, it just annoys me. Nothing more breathtaking in the majestic vastness of the ocean. He does have a point. The the ocean is majestic. I think you're taking our duel seriously, Mako. On the contrary, I am taking it extremely seriously. I'm just confirming that your forces will not stand a chance against the power of the crashing waves and the thunderous seas. Mako is one of my favorite, like quote unquote side characters, and I really wish they did more with him. Then that's a mistake. Father, wherever you are, watch me attain victory by conquering Yugi with my aquatic army. It's time to duel, Yugi. Like, Weevil and Rex continue into, like, Season 3 and Season 4. Mai continues to, like, the very end. Yeah! What? Like... Whatever happened to Mako? Like, after Battle City, Mako is just forgotten. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna pull a sneaky... On Mako here. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna pull a sneaky. So, first of all... I'm gonna use you... We'll throw in the Saka Kappa! Larva Moth, because we want to get that leveled up. Time Wizard. Uh, baby Dragon. Throwing a Crow Goblin, because he's so good. And I have yet to actually use Great White. I bought Great White... Like, even on my main playthrough. And it's in my deck. It's been in my deck since I bought it after Area 1. Haven't used it once. Alright, Baby Dragon. Where is it? Alright, this guy. We're going for him. We're going for him. Because <laughs> he waits too long. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put him behind Baby Dragon. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> We're going for him, lads. We be going for the Kraken. All right. It's time to start. It is time to start. Oh shit, I think I fucked up. No, I fucked up. No! No, I fucked up. Here I come. You're supposed to summon Oh fuck, I thought it was Baby Dragon. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up so hard. I was supposed to summon Baby Dragon and then That way I could move him this turn. Fuck! Alright, well. Let's not talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Nothing happened. I'm ashamed. Nothing happened. Stop talking about it. Oh, that, that makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. We may still be able to do it. Worst case scenario, he'll summon it and we can do a decent amount of damage to it. Yeah, move your Torike. The only monster that you move over there. Alright. Baby Dragon Advance! And then one, two, three, one, two. So, I need two more turns. 
I think it'll be enough. Alright, what's his attack? 107. It's actually not that bad of a wood monster. Alright. We are not able to move all of our monsters in a single turn, so we have to pick and choose what we want to move. We should be good. We should be able to do this. Actually... I'm gonna move here, because if I move here, only Happy Lover will be able to attack me. If I would have moved here, I would have, uh, been attacked by both, so... <laughs> Crow Goblin! I got a message from eBay. Oh. Phantom Rage booster box set. That was a nice strategy. I just attacked. I don't mind losing to techniques like that. I just attacked. That's all I did. Mako. Mako, are you okay? So, what I was going to record today, and I decided not to because I didn't have, like, a tripod to hold my camera properly, so, like, it would have just fallen over and just been a disaster. Um, um, but, uh, I want to start doing, like, card openings, and I got a random set of 200 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Doesn't bother me. No duplicates, 40 rares, 160 common, and uh, no duplicates. Uh, I ended up getting like 200 and, or yeah, 203 cards. I got like a few extra. So, kind of cool. But, um, yeah, I didn't pull anything super. No. He sealed off any chance for a counterattack. I didn't pull anything, like, super amazing. I did pull... Um... I did pull a, uh... Some cards that are worth, like, a little bit of money. Like, maybe, like, a buck. So, I, I, I definitely pulled enough stuff to be able to pay for what I spent. Even if I sold each card at 10 cents, I would still get my money back and then some. But, uh, yeah. If that's all the damage it was fun. It was, it was fun opening that. But, like, I want to get, like, booster fall. boxes and display box sets and stuff like that. And, uh, and do some openings, because I, I, I feel like that would be fun. I feel like that would be fun going card hunting. So, it's probably not something I'm going to do anytime soon, because some of the stuff, some of the boxes that I want to get are decently expensive. So, it's something on the back of my mind. I'll get all the equipment to do it before I actually go and do it. Okay, we didn't fuck up. We didn't fuck up as bad as I, uh, as I thought. Summoning the Black Pearl. All right, baby dragon. You should be strong enough to destroy Fiend Kraken while it's still in its capsule. I believe in you. Now is not the time to let up. It is not the time to let up. Baba Booey. Huh? Wait a second. 
You should have summoned it when you had the chance, Mako. It's not like Fiend Kraken is, like, dangerous, but I mean, if I can destroy it while before it's even summoned, I'll do it. <laughs> it was killed by a baby! Bye! By a baby! Baby Dragon! Um, let's see here. Yeah, and then Time Wizard can destroy it. Oh, baby. Crow just flew past my window. That was kind of exciting. I summoned power of the mystical arts. Use a bitch. Oh, so last episode I mentioned, like... Because I ordered DoorDash. If I take another attack like that, um, the end will be near. I just ordered. I just ordered a little bit of food, and uh, I I mentioned how like the GPS is kind of fucky with my area. Like, I live at the end of a road. Like my my apartment building lives at is uh is at the end of a road, but for some reason, even on like regular Google Maps. My, it says my address is at a house at the very front of the road. And it says it for all of, like, I looked up, like, some of the other apartment numbers, and it says the exact same thing. It just points to the very front of the road. And it's like, well, no. So, in my address information, it had the correct place and it had the correct pin. Because you can move, like, where your pin goes and whatnot. Like, I was able to, uh, to move that, but, and, like, that was all normal. But in the actual order screen where you're tracking where your order is, it was, like, not correct. Like, it was, it had no instructions, which I have basic instructions to be like, hey, just, just in case, you need to go to the end of the road. That's where my apartment is. So. It's whatever, it got here. It was fine. You think Baby Dragon can one-hit the Psychic Kappa? I don't think so, because it's, we're in water. Crow Goblin will probably hit it, and then Baby Dragon can kill it. Because I need to get Baby Dragon to level 5 and Time Wizard to level 3. And then I can fuse them together into Thousand Dragon. And dude, Thousand Dragon is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Wind Monsters are, have, like, they have no right to be as good as they are in this game. But they are exceptional. Exceptional monsters. I'm gonna move you here. Uh, 188. It really doesn't matter where I move. Yeah, because Baby Dragon will be able to do it. And then he's gonna be down to two monsters! Dos monsters! I don't think that's the word for monsters. Beatboxing. He's spitting. I impossible. Not probable. Again, Mako, you're going to lose a monster to a baby. He's such a baby. It's a baby dragon. Revel up as much as possible. Yeah. Alright, I'm also gonna move you here. I could... But then, Happy Lover will move there, so I'm, I'm gonna keep this here. 
Uh, and I am going to attack with Psychic Kappa! Baba Booey! Yeah, Area 2 duels are not as hard as you would think they would be. If I take another attack like that, the end Because be they're like the same difficulty as Area 1, but your monsters are much more powerful. So it's it's just Area 1 again. Yes, he did what I wanted to do. I wonder what he's where he's gonna move is Torike. Cause it's just Torike, really. Cause Happy Lover is dead next turn. Ooh, look at you. Giving yourself the L. Damn. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh, I have yet to ever attack with Great White in either of these two playthroughs, so I'm going to do it. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Yeah, here I come, dude. Do I need Great White for anything? No. All right, all right. Yes, yes, good. I want to destroy him with Larva Moth if possible because then he'll get closer to level 2. I can't really box him in anywhere. I impossible. It's very possible, Mako. You just suck. Like, I can maybe block him in over here. Over here. Worst case scenario, Time Wizard can destroy him. Oh, awesome. That's fine, because it got to level 2. All of my Exodia pieces need to be at level 2. Once they reach level 2, I'm not going to use them ever again until I fuse. lost a duel yet, have I? Or surrendered? No. No, I don't think so. Because we get a special monster in the shop if we can complete areas 1 and 2 without losing a single duel. This will finish you! For some reason, I don't know why, Larva Moth is like one of the only good wood monsters. Even Great Moth isn't that as good. Or maybe it's just the areas I've just been playing on. Because like, I'll have a Great Moth go up against a Wind Monster, and it'll only do like 10 damage. It's like, oh god. No! What an embarrassing loss! You suck! I don't think he just- No, he destroyed the leg. I was about to say, I don't think he destroyed any monsters. But no, he did. He destroyed the leg. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Excellent duel, Yugi. I lost. Yeah, you did. You were quite the expert yourself. Thank you. But there's no need to make me feel better. I did my best, but I came up a little short. But next time, I will win! So save your pity. You will see how much stronger I will become. All right, Mako. I'm looking forward to it. And Mako was never seen from again. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. 30 experience points. No level ups. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> But it wasn't even summoned. Don't care. I beat it. I need to really make sure I don't save over my main file. 31 and a half hours I've been playing it. And I'm semi-close to uh to 100%ing it. I'm, I'm going to have to do like another full playthrough or two in order to do it. This is, this is the fun game. I don't, I don't know. It's just a fun game. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. So next episode, we are going to take on Rex Raptor. And who boy. His duel is not incredibly hard, but uh, he does have a lot of high HP monsters. So we're going to do our best. Probably bring out the summon skull, but we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.